uh, in the trailer, and we've seen a still before of Halle Berry with the dogs. Mm. I think all of us are very curious about those dogs and Halle Berry. Uh, what can you tease? Um, well, I think anyone that's seen the first John Wick knows we're a bit of a dog movie. Um, if you can't tell that, again, at the time, my co-director, Dave Leach, and I are dog people or animal people. I was mostly a cat person, but now I have two puppies. Dave has always been a dog person. Um, we love animals. It's awesome. Uh, and because that was such a motivational factor of the first movie, uh, we teased a little bit about with the pit bull in the second film. And in this one, we're like, well, let's not just have the dog as a background or a set piece or a prop. Let's actually integrate what we can. So I went around with uh, my stunt core and my, my action choreographer, John Eusebio. And we interviewed every dog trainer that we could find in Hollywood and beyond and came back with, with Andrew uh, Simpson, who's our one of the best wolf guys in the business, does Game of Thrones. And I don't know if most people know, but when a dog attacks, like when you see a dog attack on screen or in a film, the dog doesn't know it's a movie. It's an animal attacking a human in, 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 in the mentality of, I'm going to bite and chew this person up. So we wanted to find a trainer that was willing to take younger adolescent animals or puppies and train them so that the attacking or the interaction with stunt people was fun. It was a game. It wasn't life or death. It wasn't an animal protecting himself or anything like that. And uh, lo and behold, we found somebody that was willing to go through that. So we managed to find these beautiful animals, just like an addition, uh, five Belgian Malawan dogs, uh, like Belgian Shepherds, that all had above average intelligence and physical ability. We actually had dog additions for a couple months. And uh, found them from all around the United States brought them to Los Angeles and for five months uh, trained the dogs to do uh, interactive stunts with stuntmen. Now at the same time, we didn't want a trainer just hiding behind it, uh, uh, an, uh, a set piece or a prop or something like that. So we wanted Hallie or, or Sophia, our character, to be the on-screen dog trainer. So it wasn't acting like these were her dogs, they actually were her dogs. So when we cast Hallie, we had the big talk, and Hallie actually came after all her fight rehearsals and gun rehearsals. She would go sit, work, and play with the dogs for months on end, so the dogs actually on screen obey Hallie, and they're not looking at a trainer. So that was really fun. And as if uh, John, the puppy in the first movie, was symbolic of his wife and his loss, uh, the dogs in, in Parabellum are symbolic of someone that Hallie's lost, and that's our tie-in. And rather than being just passive like a puppy, these dogs are a little bit more active in the storyline. What were you able to... That, first of all, that's crazy and amazing. Second of all, what were you able to do with the dogs on screen that maybe surprised you? Or what were there any limitations? Or you just came up with these ideas um, and the dogs did it? Yeah, no, um, it was... It's, it's like anything, when you get a, a new, even a human, a, a cast member, and you're trying to find the martial art or the choreography fit for them. Some people are more flexible, some people are stronger, some people are shorter, some people are taller, so you try to tailor fit the choreography to them. Same with dogs, like we all thought we knew what we wanted, but then you have to go through the process of, okay, the dog just doesn't react to action and cut. Like our process is, we went through all the dogs, tried to do all the motions we thought of, and let the dogs kind of play, and we started experimenting, and the dogs naturally do certain kind of motions better, uh, especially Belgian Mal ones that are very, very acrobatic, very, very tough, and absolutely fearless when it comes to heights. So we tried to use that to our to our benefit. Um, dogs, just like people, out of the five uh, Belgians that we have, all five have different personalities, surprisingly different personalities. Some, uh, Santana, which you'll see is uh, one of the main attack dogs, and Sam are the two most athletic, um, but also the two goofiest. So if you see a dog making a goofy face, it's probably Santana. The most serious is a, a female called Boyka. And, uh, you know, if she was in a bad mood, that's not the one you wanted on set. <laughs> so you just had to pick the mood of the dog depending on whether it was running, jumping, hopping, biting, attacking, flipping. And we would choose the personality based on the stunt that we would do. Process-wise, uh, what's digitally moved is the stunt guys put on a special kind of padding. Uh, it's color green. It's like almost a really bright green and the dog has been trained that go after the green toy Don't buy anything but the green toy. So wherever the stuntman put the green toy or our little uh, Green uh, chewy toy that would velcro it on their tent and that's what the dog would go after So if we wanted a groin hit the stuntman would wear a a velcro green on the groin If it was a forearm, it'd be on the forearm back on back and we'd come up with all these straps So the dog knew when I see green get green as long as you didn't wear green on set to work that day You're doing great. So there's no green allowed on the set for any of the crew other than that, the dogs responded to that, and then we'd do it. We'd do a rehearsal, 
doggy would pull off the uh, the Velcro green chewy toy, he'd have to go in his quiet box so the dog would calm back down. It was about a two minute, whew, okay, it's all fun, it's good. And then he'd come back in and do the second take. And once you realized what was the best for the, the animals, the dog and the process of how to get the most takes and how to get the most precise takes out of them, we just reverse engineered back how to put it in the choreography. And we wanted to show in the movie, so we do a lot of, just like our John Wick version of, we don't cut a lot. We try to do longer takes that track with Hallie and see the dogs actually doing it. So you know we just didn't cheat and did an insert of a dog chewing on something.